following subject matter is real and only intended for mature audiences. Discretion is advised. People are dead after deputies say a man went on a shooting rampage. I knew a week before she died I was going to kill her. I can tell you the scene out there is absolutely horrific. Nobody knows where this individual may strike next. This is 10-Minute Murder. Yeah, I mean, I, I told them they better watch how they talk to me, or there are going to be consequences and repercussions. Nobody is going to disrespect my mom's squash casserole like that. Oh, hey, you caught me talking to myself because I'm the only human being in this room right now, and I'm running out of things to say to start this podcast. And for the record, my mom's squash casserole is pretty fantastic. Welcome, I'm Joe, that's my name, and I appreciate you joining today. If you're here by accident, don't try to go anywhere. It's already too late. Just hush for a few minutes, but make sure while you're hushing, you're subscribed to 10 Minute Murder so that you can get every episode as soon as it's released. Also, Facebook and Instagram, be sure we're connected there. Links are in the show notes. Okay, now to today's story. And today's story is not going to be a murder per se. It's probably a murder, but we don't have a result, a conclusion, or the, the full story of what's going on. But I will tell you all the information that's available at this moment. When the first season of Tiger King hit the nation and the whole world in early 2020, it soon became the Internet's biggest TV true crime obsession. The show had everything. Big cats, mullets, guns, amputees, a gay thruple, real-life cult-like leaders, hitmen, disappearance, and, of course, Carol Baskin. There was a lot going on, and with Joe Exotic going to prison, it seemed like everybody's main concern was actually what happened to Carol Baskin's first husband. We learned from the series that 59-year-old Don Lewis had disappeared mysteriously in 1997, and to this day, there have not been any confirmed sightings of him or his body. Of course, the internet was not having Carol's explanations of what happened to him, and she soon became the target of rumors that she actually had Don killed and fed to her tigers. Finally, due to all the attention on the case caused by the popularity of the Tiger King series, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office reopened the investigation. With a sequel to the documentary now streaming on Netflix, let's go through all we know about Don Lewis and the theories of why he went missing 24 years ago. Jack Donald Lewis was born April 30, 1938 in Dade City, Florida, to a single mother of three who sold fresh bread and worked as a seamstress. The family situation led to Don working from a young age. He had odd jobs like working as a mechanic and a farmhand before graduating from Pasco High School in 1955. Through his hard work, Don was eventually able to build a successful business selling and scrapping metal and machine parts. By the age of 40, he had gathered a small fortune through trucking, selling used cars and real estate. Don had brains for making money, and he was able to calculate interest rates mentally in less time than it took most people to use a calculator. Around the early 1980s, Don was a married man with three daughters and an adopted son. It seemed like he had everything. But then, one day in January 1981, Don spotted 20-year-old Carol Murdoch walking barefoot on Nebraska Avenue in Tampa. The young woman had fought with her husband at the time and stormed out. Despite the fact that they were both married and had children, Carol's baby just being six months old at the time, the two immediately began an affair. However, this was nothing new to Don. He already had a long line of girlfriends, and his secretary, Ann McQueen, later said, quote, I'm probably the only woman he never fooled around with. I used to say it was the only time in my life that I was glad I was short and fat. Don's wealth kept growing, especially as Carol was now helping him buy and sell real estate in 1984. However, you could have never guessed that Don was a man with money from the outside. While he carried enough cash with him to buy a small airplane at all times, Don still bought his clothes at garage sales. And when he and Carol got married in 1991, after their respective divorces, Don gave his new wife a $14 wedding ring during a courthouse ceremony. The following year, the couple co-founded Wildlife on Easy Street, called Big Cat Rescue today. All that started when Don had brought home a six-month-old bobcat they named Winsong. Before they knew it, they had more than 50 little bobcats in their hands that they had rescued from Minnesota. The couple began to educate themselves on how to care for these animals, and at the same time, they learned about the horrors the exotic animals faced in captivity. Soon, as Carol later told, 
Don was traveling for auctions across the U.S. and bringing home every abused, dying, maimed cat he could find. Still, there were issues as Don also wanted to breed and sell their animals. And Carol was against that. She wanted to focus on rescuing only. As for Don and Carol's marriage, there aren't really nice things to say. According to Carol, Don never gave up his old ways. She said he was absolutely obsessed with sex and would frequently travel to Costa Rica for sexual purposes. Don had allegedly even told his family he planned to move to Costa Rica permanently. Around June 1997, Don filed a restraining order against his wife, claiming that Carol had threatened to kill him with a gun. However, that restraining order was rejected because Carol's threats were protected under free speech, which is a little questionable, but hey, it's Florida. Still, Don didn't seem too worried as he continued to live with Carol, who in turn claimed that she never threatened Don in the first place. Whichever the case, just two months later, Don Lewis disappeared. It was the early morning of August 18, 1997. Don left home at 6 a.m. to make a delivery, never to be seen again. Two days later, his white 1989 Dodge van was found abandoned at the Pilot Country Airport, a private airport near State Road 52 and US 41 in Pasco County, Florida. While Don knew how to fly a plane and he owned several, his pilot's license was suspended at the time of his disappearance due to three aviation accidents. Still, you don't really need the license to get the plane off the ground. Of course, everybody wondered what does Carol have to say about the situation? Not much. Her story was that Don had told her he was heading to Costa Rica and that was the last time she spoke to him. Police did eventually carry out a search, but they found nothing. Don's ex-wife Gladys later told the Tiger King producers that Don wanted to divorce Carol before his disappearance. But according to Carol, that was not the case. Quote, we were not headed for divorce. Don was suffering mentally and I was desperately trying to get him help. Carol continued to claim that Don had shown signs of Alzheimer's and even later said that he was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. However, these claims were refuted by Don's former attorney, Joe Fitz, and former business associate, Wendell Williams, who both said there was nothing wrong with Don's health and he knew exactly what was going on. But why would Carol lie? Nevertheless, authorities did not find any evidence at the time that would have indicated what happened to Don and if his wife had anything to do with it. That did not stop Don's children from going public a little over a year after their father's disappearance with their theory that Carol had killed Don and fed him to the wildcats in their sanctuary, all because she didn't want to lose money or the sanctuary if they separated. Quote, it's a perfect scenario to dispose of someone, Don's children said. We were upset that the cops did not test the DNA on the meat grinder. And what did Carol answer? Quote, my tigers eat meat. They don't eat people. And the last time I checked, people are made of meat. After five years and no signs of Don, he was declared dead in 2002. That meant Carol gained access to his will. Most of Don's estate was left to her, even though there have been allegations about her forging these documents, but these claims are unsubstantiated. The signatures on these forms look very sus. You know how when you write your name or sign your name, it changes a little bit from one signature to the next. All of these signatures are identical, like they could have been traced over the top of one authentic existing signature but that's just a theory. During the years, Carol had refused to take a polygraph test more than once, as advised by her attorney. And if I was advising her, I would say the same thing. I think it's been well established on this show that I am very anti-polygraph tests. It's like flipping a coin most times. But overall, she has not been a very willing participant in the investigation. When Tiger King's first season aired in 2020, 24 years after Don had gone missing and after everybody had considered the case cold as ice, Carol gave a statement. She called everybody a liar and again denied her involvement in her husband's disappearance. So what if she is telling the truth? Carol feeding her husband to tigers is the favorite theory of many, but what else could explain the sudden disappearance of Don Lewis? Theory number one, Don crashed his plane. The theory supports the idea that Don successfully took off at the Tampa airport and was heading to Costa Rica. The plane would have been small, and Don would have needed to stop on the way to get more fuel. He made a mistake and crashed. His body and the wreckage have just never been found. Theory number two. Don is alive and well in Costa Rica. There have been many alleged sightings of Don in Costa Rica during the years, but obviously none have been confirmed. However, just after the release of Tiger King Season 2, 
news began to spread that Don had actually been found alive in the rainforested country of Central America, out there living his best life. And there are federal reports all about it. Even Carol herself, who did not believe Don could support himself in Costa Rica, commented about the claims, quote, He took about $1 million down to Costa Rica, and I had agreed to let him do that so that he could prove to himself that he couldn't make a living. So I don't know how it is that Homeland Security says he's alive and well in Costa Rica, but I'm glad to hear it. There have been many sources writing about Don being alive as a fact. It is not in any way confirmed. We have to wait for a statement from detectives of Don Lewis's case before we can be sure about any claims regarding his whereabouts. So is it true? Maybe. Lastly, while Carol is not exactly a suspect in the case, it is noteworthy that around the time Don went missing, she gave a collection of guns to Don's handyman, Kenny Farr, packed inside Don's van in the middle of the night. Kenny's ex-wife Trish also said Kenny had mentioned Don is gone and a week later, a large padlocked freezer Kenny kept on the porch suddenly vanished. Trish said, quote, Kenny's got Don's van. Kenny's got Don's guns. Don's gone, and I knew Don was gone the day before he was supposedly missing. Something wasn't right. Trish further claimed that during an argument, Kenny threatened to put her in a meat grinder, quote, like he did Don. While Trish's story is definitely interesting, again, everything included are just allegations that Kenny has also denied. Nevertheless, investigation in the case has more action than it has seen in decades. As Corporal Moses Garcia said, he is confident the truth will eventually come out. Meanwhile, what do you think happened to Carol Baskin's ex-husband, Don Lewis? That's today's 10-minute murder brief and bingeable true crime. Thanks for listening today. And obviously, I say murder because that's the name of the show, but this may not be a murder. It might be. It, in my opinion, probably is. But it mm, this it's still ongoing, so who knows at this point. But if... Uh, I almost spilled my water just now. If you have any information about Don Lewis's disappearance, you can call the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office 813-247-8200. I'll leave that number again in the show notes of this episode. If you're a brand new listener to 10 Minute Murder, make sure you're subscribed before you go today. Tell your friends about this podcast and connect with 10 Minute Murder on social media. Links for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are also in the show notes of this episode. Thanks for listening. Be safe and have a good night. 